Just want to take a minute today and look at a, an application where we declare uh, a GE um, a GE PLC uh, protocol. So we're going to create a new application. So we'll just go to Project and click New. And for this application, we're going to choose a FP3070. So it's a seven-inch screen, and we're going to choose. Uh, a touchscreen and that it has a uh, network capabilities so it has Ethernet so in the bottom here it shows a description of the product that we've chosen so and we can also choose to have this project be horizontal or vertical depending on the orientation of the enclosure or the uh, aesthetics of the application that you're working on so we'll just choose a horizontal and we'll click OK and when we click OK here, it's going to create the shell of the application. So it's just going to create basically a, a blank application. Also, we could choose that we want to do IEC 61131 programming uh, suite of languages, or we can just choo choose a native ladder. So the IEC 61131 includes uh, programming languages such as uh, function function chart, uh, sequential function chart, um, and different programming languages that are uh, pretty popular now. So we'll choose 611.31 and then we'll click OK and this is going to create the shell of the application. So on the left hand side here is basically the project tree and you can uh, maximize different areas here for uh, like your screens, you can add screens here. Uh, define your screens. You have logic blocks. What we want to look at uh, for creating the GE protocol is the network configuration. So we're just going to click on network configuration and in this blank space we're just going to right click and then click add and then for the protocol you can see we have a pretty extensive list of protocols that we support. So for the GE, you can see that we have GE SNP or GE SNP X. So for this application, we'll just choose the SNP. So once we've chosen that, we can give it a, a node address, a response timeout, inner frame delay, retry count. Um, we could choose which model of the SNP uh, PLC that we're choosing. So for this, we'll just choose a micro, and then we can define our baud rate settings and um, parity, data bits, stop bits. Uh, we can also choose the uh, time delay for the PLC communication. So it'll wait for the PLC to come up before it starts to try to communicate. Um, so what we'll do now is click Add. So that basically adds this node, and that's a GE SNP uh, micro PLC. From, so from this point, we can start to add the various tags that we want to bring in from the GE uh, PLC. Uh, and we can define which tags we want to write. <clears throat> so to do that, we'll go to the tags. And then just anywhere in here, we're just going to right click and then we'll click add again and so the node that we want to add a tag for is going to be the GE node so now we can add variables uh, any variables from the GE device so say that we want to uh, read in internal coils we can do that here so we'll be reading in coil M1 uh, and you can change this to anything that you need to you know if you need to bring in coil uh, 900 you can do that uh, maybe that coil is a um, pressure switch or something like that you can add that <clears throat> so we can just click add and then it adds it to the uh, tag database so you can write to this register and you can also read that register and this goes for for all these different tag variable types 
If you need to uh, read in analog inputs, you can do that. So it's going to be a two byte, uh, one word variable. And so you can read, looks like this particular PLC has up to 128 analog inputs that it could possibly have. So this could be something like uh, temperature could be like room temperature or whatever that uh, analog input would be on the on the GE product. So we just click add that. So it adds that in. So if we wanted to display one of these variables, then we could just bring up a screen. This is the this is the base screen that it creates. So then all we would do here is say say show data is a numerical data point. We can change the size of this data point and then to declare that we want to show that tag then we can just click on tag name go to the database and click on room temperature so now at this point the HMI is going to be reading in that temperature from the GE PLC so it's just a, a brief introduction to how you can do uh, different protocols, and in this case we did the GE.